Early December, Northrop Grumman, along with the U.S. Air Force, had lifted the veil from the B-21 Raider stealth bomber. The aircraft shown, referred to as T-1, or aircraft number 001, is currently undergoing ground testing and is set to make its first flight sometime in 2023. There are five other B-21s known to be in various stages of production. This was the first public look at any aspect of what's been a secret aircraft. Northrop Grumman called it the world's first sixth generation aircraft, which means it's a lot more technologically advanced than the military jets in service today. Importantly, Royal Australian Air Force Chief Air Marshal Robert Chipman attended the unveiling ceremony at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale facility with his British counterparts and described the event as an awesome display of U.S. innovation and industrial power. Recently, Marcus Hellyer and Andrew Nichols, experts on cost and capabilities in defense acquisitions, wrote through the Australian Strategic Policy Institute ASPI, a premier Australian think tank, that the country must examine the B-21 bomber as a long-range strike option and have made specific remarks about its capabilities. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Australian experts think a single B-21 Raider is equivalent to at least six F-35s. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Australian government's 2020 Defense Strategic Update called for investment in long-range strike capabilities to counter China's growing threat to its security. While the exact range and payload of the aircraft remain unknown, the stealth bomber is expected to travel as far as 9,600 kilometers or 5,965 miles with a weapons payload of 10 tons. The stealth bomber costs nearly $700 million per plane, according to the ASPI report cited by Hellyer and Nichols which examines various options that could increase the Australian Defence Forces ADF's, strike power by 2032 or 2033. Hallier and Nichols wrote, As an extremely stealthy bomber that can deliver large amounts of ordnance across our near region, the B-21 is the gold standard in strike capability. It could potentially be delivered by 2032 or 2033 but that capability comes at a great cost. According to the two defense analysts, the total acquisition cost for a squadron of 12 aircraft is $25 to $28 billion. However, they wrote that several factors potentially offset that cost. According to the recent ASPI report, as cited by Hellyer and Nichols, the annual sustainment cost of a fleet of 12 B-21s for Australia could amount to around $500 million per year. Viewers may note that Australia has committed to 72 F-35A aircraft. However, Raider provides several crucial advantages that enable it to complete missions that the F-35A cannot. One. China is 7,400 kilometers or 4,600 miles from Australia. The effective combat radius of the F-35A is only 1,000 kilometers, and with a single refueling from a tanker aircraft, it could be extended to around 1,500 kilometers. But the availability of aerial tankers is doubtful over contested airspace. 
Australia has purchased JASSMER joint air to surface standoff missile extended range missiles which can engage targets at a range of up to 900 kilometers it means that even if the F-35As were armed with JASSMER missiles the RAAF could only engage targets up to a maximum range of 2500 kilometers with a single aerial refueling so a strike package consisting of F-35s would need multiple aerial tankers and during each of these fuel transfers the aircraft would be very vulnerable on the other hand a raider may not need aerial refueling at all regarding the range of the b-21 US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin had said it's unmatched by any other bomber he added it won't need to be based in theater it won't need logistical support to hold any target at risk Two, the report states that a b-21 could carry around 12 anti-ship strike missiles compared to the f-35a's two or it could carry around 50 to 60 direct attack weapons such as 500 pound jdams joint direct attack munitions compared to eight carried by the f-35a a single b-21 can probably carry ordnance equivalent to at least six f-35a's air defense system capabilities have advanced rapidly in the last decade or so SAM or surface to air missile can be deadly for even the most modern aircraft these capabilities include advanced integrated air defense systems with long-range engagement capabilities able to target and shoot down aircraft from hundreds of miles away an example is the Russian s-400 today these high-end capabilities are being developed and deployed by countries like China and Russia but they'll soon be available to others as well this is where the b-21 Raider can play a crucial role as it has features that make it suitable for penetrating highly defended airspace its massive range and payload capacity along with stealth technology make it a one-of-a-kind asset US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said 50 years of advances in low observable technology have gone into this aircraft and even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to detect a b-21 in the sky given the data it's not surprising that Australian experts feel that a single b-21 Raider is equivalent to at least six f-35s subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve